there crypto fans and welcome to altcoin radar today guys i'm gonna show you 10 of the best altcoins to buy and hold for the long term but before we get started guys please keep in mind that the information that you hear in this video is based purely on my own opinion and that's okay because everybody has their own opinions in the cryptocurrency world we already know that um you know everybody's got something to say about whatever their coin you know uh, the coins that I think are the best are not going to be the same as what somebody else thinks are the best. So literally, guys, everything is based purely on own, you know, everybody's own opinion. Everybody's going to have their own opinion about different coins. So this is my personal opinion. So guys, the very first coin that I think is, you know, one of the best to hold on to for the long term would be Ethereum. And the, you know, simple reason is, is because it's Ethereum. I mean, it's continuing to grow. It's ranked number two. And I mean, <laughs> the only place it's going, the only place that Ethereum has been going ever since, you know, it started has been pretty much straight up. I mean, it goes sideways here and there, but you know, so does every other coin. But as you can see, guys, you know, back in 2018, when we had that bull run where it went all the way up to 20,000 or where Bitcoin went up to 20,000, Ethereum went all the way up to like, you know, $1,200 from, let's see here, from like $10 and 75 cents. So it went all the way up to 1200 and you know, and then, you know, uh, bear market came through and uh, it went back down. And then, you know, here we are again in the next bull run and it went all the way up to, you know, for, you know, way above $4,000. So it's continuing to just go straight up, guys. And for that reason alone, you know, I mean, I can only see Ethereum continuing to grow from here on out. So, I mean, you know, when I mean, if Ethereum can ever get their gas fees uh, fixed or issues fixed, you know, then I can see it going up even further. So, all right, guys, on to my next coin. So the next coin I have on my list is at number two would be Binance coin or BNB. And Binance, the, the, the simple reason why I like Binance coin so much and the number one reason why I think, you know, I, I think it's a great long term hold. And first of all, what I mean by long term hold, guys, is I'm talking five plus years. I'm not talking one year. I'm not talking hold on to these coins for one year. I'm talking to hold on to them for five plus years. Um, you know, I think Binance coin is great is a great option simply because Binance is only growing. I mean, they're continuing to grow. They've been growing for the longest time and they're not they're not slowing down anytime soon. And anybody can see that. I mean, before this bull run happened recently, we I mean, it was trading under 50 bucks. So and now it's at over $500, which is pretty nuts. It went all the way up to over 600. So, I mean, that just goes to show, guys, uh, Binance is continuing to grow. It's a great long-term hold. You know, get in on it as early as you possibly can. And, you know, hold on to that stuff for the long term. That's my personal opinion. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. But, hey, uh, me personally, in my opinion, it's a great coin to be holding on to. All right, guys, so on to my next coin at number three on my list. It would be Cardano, and for good reason. Everybody loves Cardano. Um, you know, ADA has been <laughs> performing very, very well in this recent bull run, and it is currently ranked at number four on CoinMarketCap, and it's currently trading for $2.02. But, uh, I mean, look at this, guys. Before the current bull run here in 2021, I mean, it was trading at like 15, you know, back in December of 2020, it was trading for like 15 cents, 14 cents here and there. And now it's up to, you know, over $2. It went way up to like, you know, uh, you know, $2.30 or somewhere around there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it went higher than that. So uh, let's see here. What was it? All, what was its high? Actually, I'm kind of curious. It's uh, it's all time high was $2.46. So. I mean, man, guys, think about that. I am. I mean, if it can go up that high, it can go even higher. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, Cardano is only making way. You know, it's only it's only moving forward, and they've got a lot of different things that are going to be um, releasing this year, uh, here in 2021. So, um, stay ahead, stay tuned. It's only going to go, get higher. All right, guys. So the next coin on my list, coming in at number four, I've got Polkadot. I mean, who doesn't love the Polkadot ecosystem? I mean, there are a ton of awesome projects that are built on the Polkadot platform. Um, you know, so I mean, it just goes to show that this project. I mean, this project has really came a long way since its uh, inception. So it's currently ranked at number eight on Coin Market Cap. And again, I'm no expert at this stuff, but uh, you know, me personally, just a just a just a regular everyday average guy looking in you know this is one of my current favorite projects one of my current favorite positions for the long time I'm, I'm a long-term holder so um you know this is one of my this is one of those projects where i've you know i've i've had i've held polka dot for quite a while and it's done nothing but done good for me so 
Um, as you guys can see, it's been doing nothing but consistently going upwards since, you know, the end of December of 2020. And, you know, I mean, it, it goes up here and there, up and down here and there. But, I mean, hey, if you're chasing long-term gains, then Polkadot or DOT is going to be a great hold for you. Um, if you're looking for fast gains or looking for, quote-unquote, get-rich-quick schemes, uh, you know, this isn't going to work for you. Um, you know, you might as well not even put your money in Polkadot if you're looking to get rich overnight. But if you're looking for, uh, you know, some decent gains and you know, in the long term, you know, I'm talking, you know, again, three, five-plus years, hey, Polka dots are a great option. All right, guys. So the next project that I personally really love coming in at number five on my list, I've got Theta. And this is a project that's pretty much hit or miss. Um, there's a lot of people who don't like the project, and there's a lot of people who love the project. Um, me personally, I absolutely love the project. Uh, we're going to check a look, take a look at their website real quick. But as you guys can see here, um, you know, here in 2021, it's it's really really taken off. It's <laughs> It makes me smile almost every time I see it. Um, in November and December of 2020, you know, we were sitting at like 75 cents, and here we're at over, you know, over $10, or it was at over $10 at one point. I mean, let's see, the, the all-time high for Theta was, um, let's see here, $15.90. That is nuts, guys. So, hey, think about that. If it can do it once, it can do it again. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, they've this is a great project. Uh, I don't know why the website's not loading, but we don't have time for for it to load. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is a great project. Uh, buy and hold for the long term, you know. Again, I'm no expert, but, uh, you know, as you guys can see, just looking at basic price data from the past, you know, this is a great project to buy and hold for the long term. It really is. Um, all right, so moving on to my next project or my next favorite coin. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of crap for this. I already know I'm going to. So <laughs> go ahead and, you know. Lay it on me in the comment section because I know you're gonna laugh. You guys are gonna laugh about this one, and I, I know a lot of you are gonna be giving me a thumbs down for this one. But you know, whatever it is, what it is, everyone's got their own opinion, and all we can do is laugh about it, right? So, guys, I'm a huge fan of Dogecoin. Um, you know, it's ranked number five for a reason. I mean, I'll be honest here. You know, I do hold Dogecoin, but it's not because I don't hold Dogecoin because I think that it's got a great. Um, a great future as far as like uh technicals go or anything like that because obviously dogecoin was you know was built on a joke it doesn't really have you know the most promising future but there's something uh, there's a stigma around this coin that everybody loves and for some reason it's like it's it, it it's literally it literally goes up based on popularity i mean literally that's the only thing that brings this coin up and down um, is popularity. I mean, as soon as somebody tweets, as somebody, you know, a big name tweets about Dogecoin, the price of Dogecoin just skyrockets. It really does. I mean, that's all you really need. Um, so for that purpose alone, I do hold, you know, I think this is a great, I mean, obviously people who've been holding on to Dogecoin for, you know, quite some time for three to five plus years, hey, you know, they made off very well with this project. And so, hey, you know, you could do it again. You know, hold on to it by now. Hold on to it for five plus ten years. You you never know. You literally just never know. And that's what is really awesome about the cryptocurrency market. Um, you know, these things can just take off. These things can just take off at the blink of an eye. You just never know. So, guys, the next project that I personally really love coming up next is Chili's. I personally really love Chili's. Um, you know, everybody probably witnessed the big. Um, the big upswing that it had not too long ago, which was in March of 2021. And let's see here. Before that, it was a right around trading for right around five cents. And it went all the way up to, let's see here. It went all the way up to 89 cents. Wow. That's nuts. From five cents to 89 cents. And the reason why I like Chili's guys is because, I mean, I'm from the States. So, I mean, soccer isn't really that big of a deal here in the States. But, I mean, nationwide, or I mean, internationally, throughout all the whole entire world, I mean, soccer or football is a huge sport. And Chili's is, you know, I mean, they pretty much, I mean, from what I know, I mean, again, I'm no expert with any of these projects, but from what I know is, you know, Chili's is, has a lot to do with, um, you know, sports and entertainment and, you know, a lot to do with football and soccer and stuff like that. So, 
Um, I can only see, you know, obviously if it's got a lot to do with that stuff, then I can only see it going up from here because, you know, people love that sport in the Europe in, you know, in European countries. And again, I can only see it going up. It's a re- ranked number 58 for a reason. So, um, and you know, it's gone nothing but up from, you know, gone nothing but up in this past, you know, bull run. So if it can do it again, if it can do it once you guys, it can do it again. So just keep that in mind for the next bull run next time it comes around in the future. I mean, I'm talking future, future, five plus years. So yeah, guys. All right. So, um, the next project that I really love that is on my long-term hold list is energy. And a lot of you have probably have not heard of this project before and you know, that's okay. But, uh, I personally, again, this, you know, this video is about, you know, what I personally like. This is based on my opinion and my personal opinion. Um, I'm not trying to shill you guys any, you know, crap coins here or anything like that. I just, I'm just sharing my own opinion here. That's all I'm doing. But I love energy because it is literally a self-funding project. Um, Literally, they don't have investors. They don't have to worry about anything. Um, It literally funds itself. And that's what I personally love about this project. It's a great project. Um, and the, you know, the team behind them, they're, they're very active with the community and, you know, you, you just go, go, go check them out for yourself sometime. I only got like a minute and a half to talk about each project. Cause you know, I got to keep this video under a certain amount of time. But, um, as you can see guys back in June of 2019 or sorry, it was that June. I don't know. Let me see. Was that June? Yeah. June of 2019, it went all the way up to $8 and 69 cents. I think, let me see here, uh, the all-time high was $9.90, actually. So think about that, guys. If it can go up to $9.90 at one time, it can it can definitely do it again. Um, you know, and right now is a good time to get in. I mean, just because it hasn't taken off doesn't mean it's not going to take off yet. So, I mean, you know, that's all you got to do. Uh, all right, guys, so the next project that um, I've got on my list is Made Safe Coin, and this is another one of those coins that I personally really like simply because of the popularity around it. There's a little, I mean, this, this coin has a ton of really, it's got a great community behind them, and they've definitely got a, you know, they've definitely came a long way. Um, basically, Made Safe Coin is, if you're not unfamiliar with uh, Made Safe Coin, uh, let's see here. what's coin market cap got to say about it. So the safe network network ain't works similarly to the Tor network, um, meaning that all online content is distributed and accessed through a peer to peer mesh network. Made safe is a token for safe coin, a decentralized currency for the decentralized safe network, which is maintained by the users as extra hard disk space, processing power and data connectivity level. Um, as you guys can see here, past price data back in 2018, it made a pretty good high. And so far this year, it made another pretty good high. So, I mean, guys, it's, it, in all bull runs so far, it's had, you know, pretty good highs. So, you know, wait for it to be a bear market again, buy in. And I mean, this will be another great project to make some good profits on for the next bull run or, you know, three to five plus years down the road. Um, you know, you just never know. Projects like this, I personally feel, are going to be only be, gro- be growing more and more in the future. All right, guys. So last but not least, my last favorite project that I am holding long term is Civic. And as you guys can see, um, you know, Civic's been have run around for a very, very, very long time. Um, Civic back in January of 2018 or back in the last bull run, it went all the way up to, let's see, what is its all-time high? So Civic's all-time high was $1.66. Before this bull run happened recently, it was trading for two cents. So, I mean, gosh, guys, and you know, the best time to buy this coin is literally in a bear market. I mean, it's a great time to buy then. Hold on to it for the long term. Again, guys, think about this stuff as a long-term opportunity. That's where you make the most amount of money is long-term opportunities, not the short-term stuff. Um, but again, uh, let's see here. Civic is, you know, it's pretty much Civic is a blockchain-based identity management solution that gives individuals and businesses the tools they need to control and protect their personal identity information. So, I mean, you know, hey guys, with more more and more people loving, you know, wanting to go private and be more uh, secure with their personal information, you know, projects like this are only going to take off in the future. And this this project has gained a lot of maturity. Um, this project's been around for a very long time, and it's only going to continue to grow more and more and more, to be honest with you. So, um, I can only see it growing, you know, more and more from where it's at right now. So, 
All right, guys, uh, let's see here. I think that pretty much does it. So, I mean, you know, hey, I know I'm going to get a lot of, like I said, I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for the different coins that I personally love and the coins that I'm personally interested in for the long term. But, you know, hey, that's what my YouTube channel is all about. I just want to share share what I've got going on. I want to share what I've, you know, what I've got money in and share how I'm doing and whatnot like that. So, all right, guys, um, now that I'm running out of things to say for this video, I think it's time for me to go ahead and wrap things up. But guys, before you guys leave, let me know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below and go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me. And with that said, you guys, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.